Medical Center of Excellence, Major General Michael J. Talley, welcome to the headquarters and support company change of command ceremony. Today, Major Brandy Gainsley relinquished his command to Major Daniel J. Harrison. The reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Major General Talley. The non-commissioned officer in charge of the ceremony is First Sergeant George L. Green. The guide on bearer is Sergeant Jeffrey LaCroix. We also extend a sincere welcome to our command teams and attendants. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the rendering of honors, invocation given by Ch Chaplain John Butler, followed by the singing of the national anthem by Miss Angelique Strother. Please join me in a word of prayer. Almighty God, we are humbled by the call to leadership, to look after and positively influence those around us. Thank you for these two leaders here today who represent much more than just themselves and their service and calling, their vast combined experience spanning the globe in a variety of different roles, thousands of decisions made and interactions bringing us to this moment today. We pause in appreciation for Major Gainsley and her work on behalf of those within, within this organization. Please be with her and her family as they move on to the next challenge. And for Major Harrison, grant him wisdom for the task at hand. Please watch over Megan and their family during the season of command. And we ask a special blessing upon the service members gathered here this morning and others who are part of this team for strength, resiliency, integrity and care to conserve fighting strength. In your holy name I pray, amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched with so gallantly streaming. And the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in the air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. At this time, Major Gainsley's spouse, Grant, is receiving a gift as a token of appreciation from Star First Class Victor Hyatt, thanking him for all the support and devotion to the soldiers, civilians, and families of the headquarters and support company.
Additionally, Major Harrison's spouse, Megan, is being presented a bouquet of yellow roses from Sergeant First Class K. Angos, welcoming her to the company. The yellow roses with closed rosebuds represent new beginnings and symbolizes her arrival to the unit. In time, these rosebuds will blossom, as will the relationship with the soldiers, civilians, and families of the Titan family. Major Harrison's children, Mary Catherine, Lily Grace, Patrick, and Emily Jane are also receiving gifts as tokens of appreciation for supporting Major Harrison over the years and welcoming them to the Titan family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the transfer of the company guide on this morning is significant in many ways. The history, traditions, and accomplishment of the company are embodied in this guide on. With the transfer, the unit's legacy is passed as a building block for future performance and achievements. Historically, a unit's guide on serves as the point around which the soldiers of the organization rallied in battle. The guide on is traditionally at the forefront of the formation and signifies the continuity of the organization even through individual members coming and going. With the transfer of the guidon goes the transfer of authority for the accomplishment of the mission and the welfare of the soldiers. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, the undersigned assumes command of Headquarters and Support Company, United States Army Medical Center of Excellence, Fort Sam Houston, Texas, effective 19 May 2023, signed Daniel J. Harrison, Major Medical Service Commanding. First Sergeant Green passes the guidon to Major Gainsley. This signifies the close working relationship between the commander and the first sergeant. Major Gainsley passes the guide on to General Talley, signifying the return of the authority of which she was entrusted upon assuming command. General Talley passes the guide on to Major Harrison, charging him with the authority of commanding the company. Major Harrison passes the guide on to the first sergeant completing the circle and signifying the trust and confidence in the non-commissioned officer corps. First Sergeant Green passes the guide on back to the guide on bearer, signifying that the guide on belongs to the soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of the United States Army Medical Center of Excellence, Major General Mike Talley. Day ceremony as the commanding general of, uh, of this storied institution and rightfully called uh, the center of excellence. Chaplain Butler, hey, thanks for your inspirational message. Um, always uh, humbling and, uh, you know, I say it all the time, but uh, we have perfect weather in here. Uh, all thanks to you, so uh, well done. And uh, that version of the national anthem, where's Miss Crothers? Uh, let me tell you, that was phenomenal. How about a round of applause uh, for that version? And uh, just so everyone's tracking, uh, you hear that signature call out from Major Gainsley. Can I get uh, two whoop whoops, please? Okay, uh, that's, that's all for you, Ms. Crothers, there. So uh, two whoop whoops, that's pretty doggone good. Um, and I want to thank uh, all the families, teammates, the colleagues, uh, the Friends of Army Medical Center of Excellence. Uh, thanks all for attending the ceremony and joining us as we honor uh, these two uh, outstanding, extraordinary leaders. Your presence means the world to, to them. And uh, thanks to all who put this ceremony together. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, again, uh, just one more round of applause and thanking everyone who put this together. Okay.
And we all uh, we probably remember General uh, Ray Ordinario, Ordinario um, our 38th Chief of Staff of the Army, uh, now deceased. But uh, he said something that resonates with us uh, still to this day. And he would always give credit, uh, you know, to the strength of our nation, to, uh, to our Army, the strength of our Army to the soldiers. Uh, but most importantly, uh, we couldn't have strong soldiers without our strong family members. So I want to take a couple of minutes and talk about, uh, about the family members that are here today uh, behind each of, uh, each of these two extraordinary leaders. Uh, Major Gainsley, uh, she's joined by her husband, Major Grant Gainsley. Uh, he's an Army nurse practitioner, and uh, they're here along with their daughter, Sage. Uh, she happens to be a corpsman in the United States Navy. Um, she's sitting up front, not in uniform. <laughs> and that's because uh, while we're here, uh, she has decided to defect and become uh, a United States Army medic. So... <laughs> Sage, come on up. Come on up, Sage. You're okay. All right. You didn't know this was coming. This is not in the script by any means. But uh, the way you're going to become an, an Army medic, uh, and Sergeant Major Largione, in fact, you know what? Everyone in this, how many recruiters are here? You see all the recruiters, every, every member. Okay. You see any one of them at the end of this, and we are going to hook you up. And I'm going to make sure you do, because uh, this is the most powerful coin in all of the Department of Defense. It'll make you jump higher, run faster, swim faster. Uh, but uh, this this will help make your decision right there. So thanks for being here, Sage. All right. All right. Anything I can do to poach talent, man, I'm going to do it. I can tell you that right now. Hey, Major Dan Harrison, he is well represented here today. And uh, his wife of uh, uh, well over 20 years... I'm going to go on a limb and say that. Uh, 15? Okay, almost 20, but 15 years. <laughs> Megan's here uh, with their four uh, great children. Mary Catherine, uh, 14, is here. Uh, she's a JROTC cadet at, uh, at Cole. And uh, I'm told uh, she's a pretty doggone good dancer also, so she enjoys dancing as well. Lily Grace is here. Uh, she's 11. Uh, she's involved in club soccer and uh, I tell you, just doing great things. And then uh, nine-year-old Patrick, uh, who happens to be an aspiring jiu-jitsu master, uh, is here also, so look out for him. And then finally, uh, there's four-year-old uh, Emily, um, and uh, Emily Jane. And I'm told that uh, she loves to terrorize her older uh, siblings there. That's her claim to fame, and uh, she intends to be an Army Airborne Ranger when she grows up. Uh, there you go. So, again, uh, uh, Emily, uh, Emily Jane, uh, there's a whole lot of recruiters. Y'all raise your hands again. Make sure you, you, you see uh, Emily Jane there. And we got two for the price of one today. So this is a great ceremony. This is, this is fantastic. Uh, so to the Harrison family, hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the Center of Excellence. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you're part of our Med C O N E family uh, again. You know, uh, Today is uh, it's bittersweet. You know, we say that all the time when we, we go through this life cycle of command. It's bittersweet uh, for our, our Med C O N E team that we say goodbye to uh, Major Gainsley. Uh, but the sweet part is we get another uh, phenomenal leader in Major Harrison, and uh, they're going to serve. He's going to serve as the commanding officer of the H S C of the United States Army Medical Center of Excellence, and that's a pretty awesome in uh, often challenging responsibility. You see, the headquarters and support company of the Medical Center of Excellence is comprised of the G staff, seven directorates. And the company commander is responsible for the training, the logistics, and the management of all functions to maintain the readiness, health, and good order and discipline of about uh, 250 multi-compo soldiers and another 500 Department of the Army civilians. Uh, translate it plainly, uh, that's a whole lot of cat herding uh, for very senior folks. And the HSC commander is also known as the chief cat herder. Uh, so the call sign that they've adopted here within HSC, Titan, which means giant, is, uh, is very appropriate. 
And as you, as you can see from, uh, uh, from Dan Harrison, uh, we are, we are getting one Titan of a, of a leader here. Set by another, another Titan, that's for sure. But they're responsible for planning and implementing all command programs, the policies, the initiatives. They steward organizational property valued over $22 million. And uh, I will tell you, MedCOE is the largest civilian accredited service school in the DOD. It has about 2,200 staff. And we matriculate over 32,000 students annually at four geographic locations. 13 accredited graduate programs, nine of which are ranked in the top 10 nationally. And as a proponent of the Army health system, MedCOE aligns and synchronizes all of the Army's dot mil PF functions within TRADOC to support the warfighter. That's the training. That's the doctrine. That's the organizations, the materiel requirements, the leadership. You name it. All that happens right here at, uh, at the Medical Center of the Army Universe, MedCOE. And so we can't sustain our, 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 our wars. We can't uh, win our nation's wars without Army Medicine Total Force and the MedCOE, which is the foundation upon which Army Medicine is built. I'll tell you, no one has facilitated the success of these core functions better than Major Brandy Gainsley over the last two years. Uh, she also commanded the 187th uh, Medical Battalion uh, previously. Uh, excuse me, she served as XO there. And we've been uh, reaped with more than our money's worth out of Brandy, all the while benefiting from her leadership. And she only knows uh, one speed, if you know Brandy, and that's fast, fast as you can go. She only knows one measurement, and that's 100%, 24-7, 365 days a year. During her tenure, she operationalized and championed the People First strategy through direct leader engagement. She streamlined company administrative processes and created feedback loops. This resulted in the seamless processing of over 2,500 personnel actions. In 600 uh, what we call tasking, she turned them into missions. They supported uh, higher echelons despite manning shortages. And during the height of the COVID pandemic, we talked about a little while ago during the award ceremony, she led in the rapid establishment of, a, of an intermediate staging base uh, out at Camp Bullis, Texas, uh, just, uh, just west of here. And uh, this was, a, was an ISB that served to transport soldiers that were coming from basic training. We're all sitting here today without masks on. If we think about uh, the conditions about a year ago, two years ago, that just wasn't the case. We were a nation that was locked down. Yet the training base, the defense of our nation, had to continue. This is a critical part of that training base. So setting up the ISB, allowing basic trainees to come from their basic training uh, uh, points uh, in a clean, uh, clean to clean type of transfer, meaning they're in a bubble while they're at basic training. No interaction in airports. They're on military aircraft. They're in buses. Can't, uh, can't, can't touch uh, any of the public to keep them from catching COVID. And then that clean to clean transfer, the next stop was out at Bullis, where they served in a quarantine before they came and, uh, and received their training. All of that, uh, just one of those hidden stories behind the story of, uh, of COVID and how the military uh, got through that. Major Gainsley is, is, is a main reason why we had the success. And you know what? Of all those trainees, 400 of them, not one COVID positive case. That's her leadership. That's her ingenuity. And certainly uh, and when you talk to her, she'll tell you it was a team effort. But uh, a lot of that had to do with her as a leader. Um, she implemented weekly and monthly initiatives to improve morale, increase trust and cohesion within those that she led. She also found time to create a monthly newsletter that generated a shared understanding across this, this very, very diverse command. And if uh, those of you that attended our epic holiday ball, you, you may remember that uh, over 600 people attended. Um, and I tell you, we didn't uh, get, get to that number until about a couple of weeks before the event. And thanks in a large part to uh, uh, Major Gainsley's uh, courtyard morale boosters and fundraising efforts right, right out here in the foyer. You could hear the whoop whoops a mile away, <laughs> contests, you name it, but uh, generating that kind of interest. Uh, again, she knows one speed and, uh, and, and one, one metric, and that's 100% in everything that, that she's done. Uh, she's built a strong rapport with mission partners across the installation. 
She's improved communication and forged healthy relationships that directly contributed to the overall mission success of, uh, of the Medical Center of Excellence. You know, I can go on and on about the multitude of contributions uh, that Major Gainsley has made, but we'd be here till 1800 on a Friday, and I don't think any of you want that. So I tell you, I uh, really appreciate what she's done, some of the intangibles you talk about with that, that direct leadership, uh, weekly PT sessions where we had uh, a lot of our civilian counterparts come out there, uh, truly a one-team uh, type of focus for this particular leader. Brandy's next assignment is, uh, is of huge strategic importance as the Chief of Medical Logistics for the United States Army Pacific Command in Hawaii. And there's no one more eminently qualified. And if you think of where we are right now uh, in the world, uh, with China being our pacing threat, the vast uh, area of responsibility that Indo-PACOM has under uh, General Charlie Flynn, um, the senior logistics officer for that effort is going to be uh, it's going to be Brandy Gainsley. So uh, having her there, um, her sum total of leadership abilities, her knowledge and understanding of what we do at the Center of Excellence, you couldn't ask for a better leader. So she's going on to, uh, uh, you know, certainly strategic things, uh, without a doubt, uh, well-earned, and uh, we're very fortunate in the Army to, to have her. And just don't forget where you came from. Remember us, uh, us folks back here in San Antonio if you ever need anything. Brandy, you've left your indelible mark and legacy of excellence and fun uh, for the HSC and the Medical Center of Excellence. We already miss your signature whoop whoops. And we were just talking to Grant a little bit there, and Sergeant Major challenged him. He says, hey, if it goes down to one whoop, you got a problem. And I said, you know, if it gets up to three whoops, she's getting better here. You know, so we'll be looking for that three whoop you know, cheer here for indo -Pacon. We'll be listening for it. Uh, but because of you, we're prouder. We're a better organization. And uh, we thank you for uh, your leadership and the legacy you leave. And for that, we will be forever grateful. Thank you, Brandy. How about a round of applause for Major Gainsley? It was part of that life cycle of command. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to sing the Army song at the end of this, and you know, the Army goes rolling along. We keep going. We keep going during COVID. Leaders come and go. It's just, that's just part of who we are. And, uh, but we're equally blessed as part of that life cycle to have a leader of Major Dan Harrison's high caliber. You can read his bio and see that he has held a broad range of assignments that have prepared him well to assume responsibility as our HSC commander in New Titan VI. He's a combat-tested leader who served as a platoon leader in the 4th Infantry Iron Horse Division in Iraq. And as a project officer in support of U.S. and coalition forces, uh, he served in combat in Afghanistan as well. He's held key environmental science officer positions in Army Public Health Commands and Special Operations Units. And most recently, he served as the Executive Officer to Public Health Command Central, which is responsible for all of the DOD's public health matters in the central United States. This happens to be his second time commanding, having successfully commanded the 61st Medical Detachment Preventive Medicine at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Major Harrison possesses the knowledge, the leadership, and strategic vision necessary to ensure this command continues to maintain its status as the premier medical education platform for the world's best expeditionary and globally integrated fighting force. The entire MedCOE family is here to support you and your, and your, your great family. Now, this is a critical time in our history, and we're continually adapting uh, who we are and how we fight and sustain as we build, train, and prepare for the Army of 2030 and beyond. Major Harrison, Dan, I'm confident that under your leadership, the HSC team and MedCOE will continue to excel in its mission to facilitate the Army's medical training platform. You are my company commander. You're our company commander. For those of you that you lead, make that clear. We, uh, we support you in all that we do. Isn't that right, directors? Okay, can I get a whoop whoop? Okay, you hear that. They're all, they're all in, in, in support of you. Uh, you have my full trust and confidence. Hey, no doubt, MedCOE is postured well to shape Army medicine for the future. 
the conditions have been set, and we have the right leader to take HSC and the Med COE to the next level. Again, it's been an honor to preside over today's ceremony, and I want to publicly thank the men and women of the Med COE and our many stakeholders for what you do uh, day in and day out for our soldiers, our civilians, our family members, and the 32,000 uh, health care professionals we train annually. Conserve fighting strength. Be all you can be. God bless, and have a great Army day. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing commander, Major Brandy Gainsley. All right, I'm going to take a brief drink of water because I'm, uh, I was a little sick last week. If any of you interacted with me, so my voice was a little bit gone. So if I sound like I'm tearing up, I'm not, Sergeant Major. He's already gave me a direct order uh, not to cry, so I will not do that. But I'm going to take a quick drink. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good morning. Uh, Major General Talley, Command Sergeant Major Larajoni, Colonel Lozano, Dr. Anderson, Colonel Weldy, and newly arrived Command Sergeant Major Churchill, uh, fellow command teams, directorates, other distinguished guests, family and friends, thank you for taking the time out of your very busy days, uh, day to be here today for today's ceremony. And for those online, thank you also for joining us to be here with myself and Major Harrison as we change command today. Before I start, I definitely, too, would like to thank the chaplain for that beautiful uh, invocation that you provided. I know that uh, you are asked very last minute, but it was absolutely beautiful, so thank you so much for that. I would also like to thank uh, Ms. Struther. Uh, she is one of our titans. She is our S4. Uh, thank you so much for performing the national anthem uh, for us today. I appreciate it. Please maybe give them a round of applause. All right, so I'm going to start by thanking uh, Major General Master, who is not here and recently uh, had his retirement ceremony. He provided me the opportunity to take HSC. Uh, I was truly honored to do that, and it has been a phenomenal ride over the last 24 months. I would also like to thank you and Command Sergeant Major, uh, Command Sergeant Major uh, Larajoni for allowing me to truly command. Uh, you provided me trust and confidence, and that has really allowed me to grow and excel here in HSC. So thank you so much for that. It has truly been an honor to pr and privilege to serve as the HSC commander. The spirit and character of this organization's officers, NCOs, and civilian are second to none. I would like to take a moment to elaborate on what they have done over the last 24 months. When I joined HSC in 2021, we were still in the depths of the COVID pandemic, and the company was spread out supporting anything and everything COVID-related, vaccinations, testing, RPQI, transportation, and a lot of you in here know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, we were also running the Soldier in Transition training program because there was a backlog at the brigade to get the soldiers out um, due to the COVID-19 and our ability to move them. With all this going on, the staff and directorates continue to perform their core missions without missing a beat. Again, that very distinct mission that General Talley described. As we moved into 2022, things improved on the COVID front, but the op tempo, it did not slow down. With, we, were, we supported the Trinity competition, EFMB, Best Medic, and several other significant events happening across the MedCOE. This pace has continued into 2023, and HSC continues to deliver and perform at the highest levels, while meeting the diverse mission sets across all the staff sections and the seven directorates that General Talley described. Reflecting on this time, I am truly amazed. It is without question that the company's success has been a composite of each member's achievements, contribu contributions, and their respective roles. To all of the directorates and staff sections, special, coordinating, and personal, I personally thank you for the efforts and dedication to excellence that you have shown over the last two years. You are the foundation in which Army medicine is conceptualized, assessed, developed, built, and sustained. I am truly honored to be among your ranks. I would also like to take a moment and highlight my headquarters staff, the grind of the mission in HSC. They have put up with me and all my crazy ideas for improving our support. Some have worked, some have not. Uh, but they are truly why I have been successful in HSC as the commander. I could not have asked for a better team to support and care for the people in HSC. They take pride in their work, and they, have, they take pride in the work, and I have privilege to serve alongside them. 
if I could get the eight, they have already arrived, get the Get the ushers to show up here. Ms. Henderson, if you would stand. Ms. Dukes, if you would stand. Ms. Clayton Moore, Mr. Roderick Jones, Mr. Colin Moore, Ms. Angelique Struther. Mr. LaCroix is on the stage, so please just stay where you are. Um, he is our training NCO. Um, but I, I will miss, miss each and every one of you. Uh, I would like to present you this small token of appreciation for all that you have done for the soldiers and civilians in HSC. I truly, truly appreciate what you have done for them. Please, round of applause. All right, my most significant backbone in HSC. It is my firm belief that a success of a company is often a result of the character of the first sergeant. I have been blessed to have two outstanding first sergeants during my tenure here in HSC. Master Sergeant Rodriguez, who's sitting in the formation out in the, in the audience today, excuse me, uh, and the current first sergeant, first sergeant George Green, both of who are outstanding leaders and who have put people first, uh, which is my greatest, uh, the most important thing to me. Uh, First Sergeant Green, you are likely the last First Sergeant that I will serve, serve with as part of a command team. I am so grateful for everything that you have done for me and this company over the last year. You, ha you have all the characteristics that I, as an officer and a commander, value in the NCO. Since you, you, you assumed responsibility, you have led by example, action, and deed. You have shown the highest level of empathy and compassion for caring for people, which is, is invaluable to me. I feel very blessed to be closing this chapter of my career with you as my battle buddy. I am not sure if you know or if anyone here knows who the artist Tracy Stuyvesant is, uh, but you may have seen his art hanging on my wall in the office. Um, I would like to publicly thank you and what you have done for the soldiers and civilians in HSC by, by presenting you a piece of his artwork. I believe this signifies the importance of the officer and the senior NCO relationship in regards to success. The artist states, I think it's missing here. The, the, the art is called Top, and what it describes is the relationship between success between the officer and the NCO as it co comes to with command and control. I cannot thank you enough for this. I think he's grabbing it for me. And I'm going to give it to you if I'm going to take it back. But thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right. Uh, and I have the quote here for it, but it's a, there's a beautiful thing written on the back. And, and if you haven't seen uh, Tracy Stiver's art, it's phenomenal. And, and the reading is truly, uh, is truly significant to what I think you have done for me and what NCOs continue to do every day. I would also like to public, publicly thank the Med COE Chiefs of Staffs uh, that I have served with during my tenure of command, Colonel Monica Douglas, Colonel David Zanante, and El Chief himself, uh, Colonel Eli Lozano. Thank you for always being approachable, providing me mentorship, guidance, and or just listening to me. Dr. Anderson, like all of the Chiefs of Staff you two, that I have mentioned, you two have afforded me that same uh, courtesy, and I truly appreciate you for that. Thank you. I would also like to send my gratitude to the 32nd Med Brigade and for all the support that I've received from all the battalions uh, and you, Colonel Weldy, over the last two years. Uh, Colonel Weldy, thank you for always treating me as a fellow commander. I know that there is a large difference between us, but you have never made me feel that way at any point. Thank you so much for that. Um, I will miss uh, your banter and the friendly competition that you provide me daily. Uh, it has been phenomenal. Uh, good luck, Major Harrison. Hang in there. Uh, you just wait. <laughs> it's it's going to happen tonight, maybe. <laughs> Um, I would also like to thank the Bravo 188, First Sergeant Chadman, uh, Chad Byrne, excuse me, uh, and Captain Whitman. Uh, you have supported HSC on multiple occasions. I am looking for you and I don't see you, but hey, thank you guys so much for everything that you have done uh, for our company. A, a lot of things that you have provided and support us with has led to our success. And so thank you so much. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give them applause because they have truly helped us. <laughs> whoop, whoop. A little too close. Last but definitely not least, I would like to thank my husband, Grant, and my daughter, Sage, uh, who continue to support me in all endeavors. Anyone who knows me uh, knows that I am extremely dedicated to the mission. I'm often the last one to leave, uh, and, and I'm often here on weekends and nights. But that dedication would not be possible without the love and support uh, and understanding from Grant and Sage over the years. 
Grant, I would, I would like to especially thank you. Thank you for pushing me to be a better officer. <laughs> for being a better officer. I'm not going to do this for a major. For being a better officer and, and leader, uh, he is truly my biggest fan. Uh, that makes me see myself how I can't, and I keep trying to get there. Uh, major Harrison, I am so excited for you. Uh, as I look out here and see everyone, you have a phenomenal team. Phenomenal, phenomenal people. It has been my honor. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I am without a doubt sure that you and First Sergeant will continue to grow and develop the team while guiding, through the, guiding them through greater accomplishments. I wish you and your family the very best. You guys look beautiful today uh, on this endeavor uh, in the company. Conserve the fighting strength, Titan Six, signing out. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of headquarters and support company, Major Daniel Harrison. Thank you, Captain Kennedy, for uh, raising the mic here. <laughs> Good morning, Major General Talley, Command Sergeant Major Larry Gioni, uh, command teams, distinguished guests, friends and family of the U.S. Army Medical Center of Excellence and headquarters and support company. Thank you for attending this morning's change of command between Major Brandy Gainsley and myself. It is an honor and a privilege to command this fine unit and support the Medical Center of Excellence mission of developing future leaders and modernizing America, or Army medicine. Thank you to Ms. Struther uh, for your excellent singing of our national anthem and Major John Butler, a friend of mine from Fort Campbell, uh, for the prayer. Thank you. Please give them another round of applause because they're most deserving of that. Thank you. I'd like to first thank Major General Talley uh, for this opportunity to command and seeing in me the character to lead uh, the soldiers and civilians of the headquarters and support company uh, is with great humility and respect for the great people and great work done here at the Medical Center of Excellence that I assume this command. I'd like to express my deepest appreciation to Major Gainsley, uh, whose passion, care, and leadership has set the foundation making this organization one of the best places to work. I've spent the past two weeks meeting with all the great soldiers and civilians of the Medical Center of Excellence and the one comment I've received the most from everyone was you have really big shoes to fill. <laughs> and I'm certain they weren't talking about my shoes. <laughs> uh, Brandy, I truly appreciate the high bar that you've set uh, and the amazing handoff that you've provided me, uh, preparing me for this command. Best of luck in your next assignment. You're going to rock it. You're a rock star. I, I, I think everyone will agree on that. To the soldiers and civilians of headquarters and support company, I'm but a humble servant, privileged to serve you, serving the missions of the Med Medical Center of Excellence in the United States Army. As we meet our mission together, I ask each and every one of you to continue living the Army values and strive for excellence. In these two things, we will continue to be the best in Army medicine and TRADOC. Lastly, I wish to thank my family, Megan, I wouldn't be the officer I am if it weren't for the love, the support, and the dedication you and the kids provide to me on a daily basis. Thank you. This Titan Six signing on, Titan Strong, conserve fighting strength, victory starts here, be all you can be. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in the singing of the Arby song. Battles won, and the 
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the change of command ceremony. Major Gainsley will remain near the stage for anyone who would like to wish her and her family farewell. You are also invited to Major Harrison's reception, located in the front entrance of Abel Hall, welcoming him to the company. Tighten strong to conserve the fighting strength. <laughs> 